So this weekend, my fiance and I decided to stay at her family's house and I really love this place. Whenever I stay here, I feel like we're at a rural bed and breakfast, even though we're like 20 minutes from a very large mall and about 30, 35 minutes from downtown. When I was a high school student, I was passionate about reducing our carbon footprint. As a matter of fact, whenever we had a chemistry research project, I would always gravitate towards researching ways to reduce our carbon footprint. So I would basically create projects that focused on ways that we could reduce our carbon footprint through automotive vehicles. I even have a sign on my door at home that says reduce our carbon footprint on a sign my engineering college gave us when we were about to be incoming freshmen and the point of the sign is to create for good, the Russ College of Engineering at Ohio University's model. The point that I'm making is that even though I'm not directly impacting our environment by decreasing our carbon footprint through engineering, I'm still passionate about the reduction of our carbon footprint, which is what the Tesla Cybertruck is doing. And that's reason number one. Reason number two, the unconventional pickup design. As a fan of pickup trucks, I'd say a newly fan of pickup trucks, me and my friend Greg, we joke that we now really like pickup trucks for some odd reason, specifically the Ford Raptor. But I do have to admit that they all do look the same, which is why during the presentation of the Cybertruck, Elon Musk showed three pickup trucks without their logos, and they all did look just alike. Tesla's first pickup truck is already disrupting the pickup truck industry, giving us an unconventional body that reminds me of a vehicle from 2220 or just from Mars. And I know it's 50-50 between this vehicle looks like a 3D render that five-year-old made to a bunch of alien references, or even the, I hate this at first, but now it's starting to grow on me and I think I like it. You have to admit that this looks nothing like the render models that we saw that were created by basically fans, and I'm actually really glad it doesn't. Not to say that those renders didn't look good, it's just that we needed something new. There are no rounded edges, everything comes in like a point, giving it this boxy shape that looks like a Mars cruiser from the side and a toy car from an aerial perspective. Not to mention the impenetrable exoskeleton. Presenters did hit the truck with sledgehammers and the truck withstood all the blows without any dents. But as you know, they later threw a rock or two rocks or two steel ball objects at the windows and the windows began to shatter. And obviously the internet had a field day with that. I'm not sure if it was a PR stunt. If it was, it worked. If it isn't, they have a lot of work to do. Needless to say, this truck is made out of ultra hard stainless steel and armored Tesla glass. So although this is a very modern, unconventional designed pickup truck, the design still gives you that rough and tough utility feel that most pickup drivers are looking for. And last but not least, the most exciting part about this new Tesla Cybertruck launch, the specs. And this is one thing that I don't think Tesla's biggest critic could criticize. The Tesla Cybertruck starts out at $39,900 for the single motor rear wheel drive option, but it also comes with a dual motor option and tri-motor option. And if I'm being honest, I was really surprised that this vehicle started out at the price point it started out. I remember seeing a friend post that his coworker was ordering one and that he was thinking about ordering one. I was like, time out, how expensive is this car? Because I assumed it was gonna start out at well above 50K, but when I saw that it started out at $39,900, I was like, wait a second. The Cybertruck also comes with Tesla's autopilot system and that option can be included for $7,000. Three specifications that I find incredible or the most enticing 
in this vehicle is the zero to 60 speed, the range and towing capacity. The base model isn't that jarring coming in at zero to 60 in less than 6.5 seconds, but that's not too bad. The dual motor option in less than 4.5 seconds, which is pretty impressive. And the tri-motor option goes zero to 60 in less than 2.9 seconds, which is mind blowing considering how large and heavy this vehicle is. For those of you all who are interested in the towing capacity, which is probably one of the main reasons why people buy pickup trucks, the single motor option can tow up to 7,500 pounds, the dual motor 10,000 pounds, and the tri-motor 14,000 pounds, which is nearly the towing capacity of three F-150. So with one swing into the pickup truck industry, Tesla is already outperforming their competitors who've been making pickup trucks for many, many, many years. Let's talk about the range for a second, which is something that isn't that exciting, but something that you'll really appreciate if you are using this vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis. Previously, the Tesla Model S had the longest range out of all electrical vehicles within the market, but the Cybertruck outperforms the Tesla Model S by over 125 miles. So you'll definitely appreciate that and find that very valuable when you're making those long road trips with the fam. Big takeaway here, despite the unconventional build and design of this truck, that leaves most people with mixed feelings. The Tesla Cybertruck is an electric self-driving pickup truck with the specs of a performance sports car and utility truck on steroids. Not to forget that marble dashboard. I like it, I like it a lot. I appreciate that Tesla is shaking up this industry. Similar to what Apple did with AirPods, they were weird, they were very unfamiliar, but now they're almost a norm and almost something that you expect someone to have if they own an iPhone. So just give it time. With that being said, this concludes this video. Give it a thumbs up if you're still here or you like this video at all. Comment your thoughts on the Tesla Cybertruck. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, God bless and enjoy your holiday weekend. Don't eat too much turkey and stuffing. And I'll see you all later. Peace.